Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with more Mountain Blade, a Clash of Kings. This time it is with a new version, version 2.1 that was just released. And I am super excited about the new version. There's been a lot of changes, a lot of uh, bug fixes and things like that. Uh, new textures and just all kinds of I'm not going to go through the list, but there's just all kinds. You should check it out in the description below. And I'm a little bit of a mixed feeling in that I hate to give up my <laughs> playthrough where I have 100 plus episodes uh, following True Kyler Roos and his uh, quest to establish the kingdom of Kinseria. However, I am super excited about the mod, so I decided to go ahead and start a new Let's Play. Uh, with this new version and if you want to check out my other uh, 2.0 version uh, check it out uh, right here but at this link and uh, so let's get started we're gonna start a new game and straight away you can hear that there's new music added which is super cool uh, it sounds very clash of kings game of thronesy which is nice okay you go for a stroll in the streets of your hometown when you hear that King Robert has been gored to death by a large boar. The fishmonger that you're speaking with tells you that Eddard Stark, the hand of the king, tried to usurp the throne, but that valiant King Joffrey's advisors managed to foil his plot, and peace has surely been restored. However, a few days later, a weary traveler arrives with more news following the imprisonment of Lord Stark. The Northern Lords march south to defeat the Lannisters and free their liege. They ambushed the army of the King's Lair, routed his forces, and captured Sir Jaime, after which they broke the siege of River Run. All of a sudden, the odds seems to be turning against Joffrey, and his name is no longer shouted in the streets. Making a quick decision, you decide to strike out, hurriedly selling off your meager position, positions, possessions uh, to a fat innkeeper and packing only the most essential. You finally feel like you control your own destiny and that whatever course you take, great deeds await you. Okay, so uh, let's um, let's get going here. Okay, you were born years ago. Your father was a landless knight. He served old Lord Went, a sworn sword, never improving his own family's lot in life. Hmm, is that what I want? Uh, plus two power strike, weapon master, riding, spotting, and persuasion. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to play things a little differently uh, this time. I norm or in my last playthrough, I had, was a sword and shield guy with an archery uh, side, and I think I may try something. Different. I may try pole arms and uh, two-handed swords this time. We'll see, we'll see. But uh, uh, I'm thinking that's I think that that's what I might like to do. So. We'll, we'll see what we can get here. An outlaw. Ooh. That's not bad. Plus six power strike. Hmm. Plus four power strike. However, this gives me a lot more charisma. Hmm. But a lot lower strength I like the higher strength um, I think I'm gonna start with with this one I like the strength of 10 honestly and uh, the, the agility is a little low but I think we'll start with this we'll start with this and I'll let you read this uh, this background here so if you want to pause this and read it out for yourself that's that's fine with me Okay, what will the game save in Pulse? Well, I'm going to allow me to quit without saving, of course. I'm a, I'm a wuss. I'm going to go with me old Chukalus. He's back. He's back again. This time, he brought friends. No, he didn't. <laughs> He's all alone. Okay, so let's get this up to 12, and we'll throw some charisma in there as well. Well, one prisoner management, one leadership, um, and I might want inventory management or pathfinding. Hmm. What do I want? Iron flesh, 
Let's get one in inventory management and one in pathfinding. Okay. Now you know what? Let, let's, let's try something else. Let's just see what I can get my leadership up to. Three. Okay. Let's go. Leadership two. Pathfinding to one in there we go. I like that. I'm gonna go two-handed weapons. And done. Gotta have a beard. Uh, chops. Heck yeah, chops. Why not chops, right? You gotta be able to see the chops. What is this? That's a, a pagey boy haircut. There you go. I don't like that hair color. True Tyler Roos is a little bit older. Nah, he's young. I was gonna say he's gonna be an old man, but let's make him a little bit older. I guess uh, who I'm gonna beat? I don't like the way that beard looks. That haircut. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, I like that chin thing there. Kinda like that. I think we'll go with this. Wish he didn't look so sick through the eyes there. That's alright. You're okay. You're done. Okay, you join a merchant and his family traveling towards Storm End. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are all across the dark soil of the rolling hills. And on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle, aurochs, and sheep are grazing on the summer grass. Occasionally, too, you catch the sight of one of the great war horses that are a pride of the nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness, a testament to the chaos the Tyrell hosts caused when it marched through 16 years earlier. You keep a wide berth of the forest where desperate men have taken refuge. While passing by the burned ruins of Summerhall, the merchant declares that he's changed his mind, wanting to take his wares to Weeping Tower instead having heard of Lassini galleys docking at the nearby harbor. Following a long trek through the rainwood, you finally see the weeping town in the distance. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn where you quickly stash your belongings and go in search of a decent tavern where you can have well-deserved dinner. According to an old blind man sitting in the corner between two buildings and drinking a mug of stale ale, a kraken has been seen off the coast of Dorne and a five-headed calf has been born, killing its mother in the process. Surely an omen to be taken seriously. Dismissing the old fool as crazy, you continue towards the tavern. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs on your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. So of course, as always, you get attacked straight away. I don't remember what weapons I'll have. Looks like a one-handed sword. Hopefully this guy does not have an arrow. He does. Oh, hi. Hi. Quit shooting. Yeah. Get a little blocker there. Oh! Block that, punk. Ow! I'm about to get used to blocking. <laughs> Ow! I got used so used to uh, playing with my other character where I'm like invincible. <laughs> I have won. You shall not defeat me. I shall be king someday. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. <laughs> There's one less thief to trouble our streets at night, although the father knows he won't be the last. 
Anyway, let's talk more inside. There's a chill to the air I'd rather be without. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, looking at the dawn, and then suddenly comes near you to speak. Alright, let's see what uh, we can do here with Sir Osbert Clark. Let me explain my proposition. You seem to be a little disoriented. I do not know who you are or where you're from, and to tell you the truth, I do not care. I'm just a simple merchant, and I've learned anything. It's that the merchants are the first to suffer in hard times. So I'm planning to travel to another country, peaceful and rainless, I hope. Okay, I've heard that in the free cities, gold flows from watery fountains, so maybe I'll go try my fortune. Anyways, I advise you before I leave to do the same and seek your own fortune in other lands. War is sure to engulf the Seven Kingdoms now that the hand has been executed, and the people will be nothing more than war fodder. Poverty feeds on the weak, and the strong men abuse the stone sword and the lance to impose their power and control over the humble ones. In order to trade, we must pay heavy taxes in each city, sort out bandits and pirates, and pray that a local lord, ignorant and lazy, do not decide to get half of our merchandise to fund his next feast or buy a new horse for his son. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Take my advice and go across the narrow sea until a new king has been crowned and anointed by the High Septon. Law and unity will remain a vulture's feasting table. So I say, seek your destiny elsewhere. Hmm. I'm going to make a chance for myself. Okay. Well, thank you, my friend. All right. So, um, let me go out here. I'm outside of Weeping Town as usual. Let's take a look at the map. Supposedly there's uh, some changes been done. Uh, we got Dorn down here uh, as usual in the desert. And then you've got the Reach here. Looks pretty much the same from what I can tell. Stormlands look pretty much the same. Then you've got the Westerlands here and Dragonstone. And now you got the Riverlands. Instead of this all being part of the north, it's the Riverlands. So you got Saltpens, Maidenpool, um, River Run, Fair Market. How about the crossing, is it part of? Yeah. So those are all part of the Riverlands now. So that's cool. A whole new faction. That's really cool. Uh, the Westerlands here. The cursed Westerlands. But actually, I'm thinking about maybe joining them this time around. <laughs> if you watch my last playthrough, you'll see that I really have a tough time with them. Okay. And they took out Lord Haraway's town. And it's, uh, it's just a little... Uh, vacation spot now um you got the veil you got three sisters and then you got the north oh winter veil is is changed it's all snowy up here now cool nice all right yeah the night fort cool okay then over here in essos you got uh, uh so. oh here it is down here bravos loroth Okay, cool. Alright, so I may come over here to Essos for a little while and do a little, uh, uh, what, you, what do you call, uh, mercenary work. Okay. First things first. Oh, I got a banner straight away. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do I want for my banner? Ooh, I like this Kraken looking guy. That's cool. Um,. Let's see here. I like that. That's cool too. This was my banner on the previous playthrough. I did like that. But I want to try something new. So. Let's see what strikes my fancy. Ooh. That's cool. I like that too. Three headed dragon. Hmm. I think I'm going to play as the three headed dragon. Here we go. 
A three-headed dragon, my family was something. Part of the Targaryen tribe. Distant cousins. Distant cousins. But cousins nonetheless. Alright, so what what do I start off with? Uh, 220. I didn't learn any prisoner management. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. Alright, so what do we got here? It's got bread. A crappy, rusty sword. Okay. Alright. Well, we got a few troops now. Let's, uh... Let's travel around just a bit. And see what we can find as far as looters. Uh, what we got over here? Nine looters. Let's take a look at them. Ooh. Oh. You better not be a man. Uh oh. <laughs> Lucky for you, you caught me in a good mood. Uh, okay. Um, we're gonna have to charge four against nineteen. I did not anticipate that. Okay. Well, well, it is what it is. Let's see what. <laughs> this may be a. <laughs> A short life for True Kyler Roos in the uh, mercenary field. Can I give my guys commands? Yeah, I guess I can. Alright. Well, hmm. Yeah, I think I, I'm thinking about uh, joining the Westerlands as a mercenary. And, uh,. Cause they got such great troops. Oh my god, they got such great troops. And then I don't know what what to do from there, but uh, we'll see. I don't like that these guys got pitchforks and whatnot. That's not good. Not good at all. Die, scumbags! I hate that I don't kill them in one hit anymore. I'm gonna have to. Whew, this is gonna be a tough battle. 19 of these guys. 19 of these guys. Oh, I missed him. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough first battle. Guys are holding steady. Hold steady, men. Hold steady. Oh, good job. Good job. I weakened them. I weakened them. There we go. Hopefully those archers don't take too big of a toll on my guys. Oh my gosh, they're going to be outnumbered and overwhelmed here in just a moment, unfortunately. I mean, I've done my best to, to weaken the opponents, but it's kind of got down to it. Yep. Darn. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to go into Weeping Town and see if one of my companions was in there. Good, good, good. I got one finally. I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to charge because those are archers. Kill him. Nice. Good job. Good job, levies. You kill one guy before you die, then you've done a good job. In my eyes. Oh, my first real hit. I received nine damage. That's not good. Okay, okay, all right. We're okay. We're living. We're living. We're still living. I need to level up straight away, that's for sure. Ooh, uh, you know what I might do? I might try like a one-handed mace for my for my weapon and uh, induce a lot of knocking unconscious and stuff. Eh, we'll see. We'll see what I can get my hands on first, you know. 
I, I will definitely try the whole two-handed thing because I know that's uh, a really powerful weapon. However, you really got to learn a different kind of play style to really take advantage of those two-handed weapons. So anyway, if, if you're interested in me joining a certain faction or going a certain place, uh, leave it in the comments below and uh, I will definitely try it out because I am up for anything at this point. Um, I kind of did what I wanted in the first one because I, well, I, I was just starting off on YouTube and um, so I didn't have any followers. And I, you know, I've got almost a hundred subscribers, so that's not like I'm a, <laughs> it's not like I'm super popular, but uh, I do want to get your guys' uh, input. Uh, so please leave comments and uh, tell me what you'd like me to do. Tell me what you'd like to see. If you have certain weapons that you'd like me to try or a quest that you'd like me to do, leave it in the comment section and I will try to accommodate. You know, I'm actually doing pretty good here. I was really worried that uh, these guys would overwhelm me. It's taking some time, but I'm making it. I'm making it. Oh, mama. So is anybody at war right now? I don't know, I don't know if they are. There we go. I'm a level two now, Bob. I'm definitely gonna put some points into prisoner management right off the bat. That's where you get the monies. That's where you get the monies. Nice. Come on. I shall call my name my name of my band of mercenaries the bloody head. In honor of this day. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna park on this hill, maybe take a screenshot. <laughs> You are the winner. Okay, so we've got uh, 19 killed. I killed 14 of them. Shoo, nice. Nice. Okay. Here we go, yeah. Sweet. Sweet helmet. Sweet helmet. Uh huh. Terrible gloves, but you gotta take what you can at first. You gotta take what you can. Uh huh. What's this? Twenty-two damage. It's actually better. We'll try it out. Let's see what we can do with it. Oh man, I'm full up. Okay. Two hundred and fifty-two coins. Nice. Okay, so let's go back to a weeping town. Oh, no thanks. I can't afford more. Looters at this point. All right, let's go in the Weeping Town here. Uh, visit the tavern. Let's see if we can get a companion in here. What do we got? Lyneria. Ah, there is a new companion named Lyneria. Ooh, I would love to have those guys. They look awesome. Too expensive though. Um, who are you? Traveler, okay. Osbert, okay. Uh, nothing with you, okay. Um, Laneria. Yes, keep your distance, by the way. My apologies, I was merely going to say that you look a bit down on your luck. My luck? You could say that. It was my bad luck to be born to a weak father who sold me off to a drunken layabout who beat me. It was my bad luck when I ran away from my owner to be taken by a group of Dothraki. It was my bad luck that the only one among them was kind to me who taught me to hunt and to fight, inspired the jealousy of others who knifed him and forced me to run away again. 
but I do not count myself unlucky, stranger, no more than any other woman of this world, this fetid backwater, this dung heap made by the gods, populated by apes and jackals. <laughs> Are you any chance uh, looking for work? I might be. I certainly could use the money. But let your followers know that I do not suffer louts and boots. Anyone who misbehaves around me will quickly find an arrow in their gullet. I will hire you. Try not to shoot anyone on your first day. All right, then. I'll come with you, but I want a payment of 250 coins first. Ah, sure. I need the company. I need the company. Okay, so we've got our first companion, Alineria. Hmm, okay, cool. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Me and uh, Alineria here will... We'll stand together for our exit interview. Hello! So I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Clash of Kings 2.1. If you did, throw me some likes, leave me some comments, and as always, subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!